It started with a community meeting shortly after the remains were finished with their study. And it was about 2010, I believe. We went to a community meeting. And the museum needed a place, a sacred ground, for these bones to rest for all eternity. And we offered our space high upon Founders Hill. We wanted to take care of these people because they didn't get the dignity and respect they deserve in life. We, we felt like we had to make it up now. For myself and many people of my generation, we were learning or not learning one set of things in history and then discovered, so to speak, our African-American history. You know, uh, discovered the history that wasn't told, the story that wasn't being told, the, the heroes, the inventors, the doctors, the, you know, so many people, uh, heroic people who did lots of different things and, and discovering them and, and discovering some dignity in that. Uh, for the kids who are today, they're growing up in many cases being told about these things. They're not going to have the same sense of wonder <laughs> that we had as we discovered them. So I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to play out for their psyche as it, as it were. This has been a very long time coming and it's taken many, many hands, many people, many organizations to pull it all together. And the fact that so many different groups, whether they be artists, scholars, government agencies, politicians, historians, painters, have all come together for this singular purpose to honor these people that were, that were treated as property. And now we are coming together and putting all of our resources towards lifting them up and giving them a tribute that they never would have had in life when they have been forgotten. We're remembering them today. And we're saying you're important. And your life was important. And you matter. You matter now. Those who have died have never, never left. The dead are not under the earth. They are in the rustling trees. They are in the groaning woods. They are in the crying grass. They are in the moaning rocks. The dead are not under the earth.